Hello everyone and welcome back to Voice. What we're going to do this week is focus on breathing exercises as part of your vocal warm-up. Now each of these exercises are designed to enhance the breath and to help you get in tune with your body. Now with each exercise, what I want you to do is I want you to start connecting your breath with intention. Now I want you to visualize in your head, I want you to think about breathing in and pulling air in to you, the spot that we are stretching and then pulling that air to that spot so that you can then exhale and I want you to think about releasing tension with every exhale with every breath out I want you to release all the tension from that spot and see if you can start to communicate with your body because if you think it your body will start with receiving these signals and it'll help respond to each of those things and what you want is for your mind and your body and your soul to all be working together that's our goal so with these exercises I want you to do them with me and then also do them on your own okay cool all right everyone Let's get started. The first thing that we're going to go over is we gotta just stretch you out and kind of relax you. So the first thing that I want you guys to do is to do this with me. This is your ragdoll. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a deep breath in and you're going to breathe in and as you breathe in, you're going to stretch up. Up and out. I should probably do that in not flash everybody. What you're going to do is stretch up, up, up. There we go, stretch up all of your body and then you're going to release and drop down like a rag doll. And then you're going to slowly roll yourself back up into a standing position. Now we're gonna repeat that three times. Go ahead and do that with me, deep breath in and release and roll up and deep breath in from the side here we go breathe in and release and roll up perfect so the next exercise that we're going to be working on is going to be all about loosening up your spine so first we did the rag doll which helped us kind of release our whole body and then the next thing that we're going to do is I want you to sit down or you can sit down on your knees but you're going to align your posture and then you're gonna take a deep breath in and you're just going to move your spine and we're gonna call this snaky spine. And this is really just about you loosening up and moving your spine. Just kind of think of it almost like a snake and it's just moving up and down, perfect. Now, do that for three breaths. And once you've done that, then you're going to lay down. Next exercise that we're going to do is called the pencil stretch. So what you're going to do is lay down and then stretch out your arms and feet as much as you can and then release. And you'll get a little bit of a tummy show, but don't worry about that because no one else is around. And deep breath in, stretch and release. Ah, so you're gonna breathe in and as you breathe in, you want to stretch out your muscles and then relax and release them. And the reason that we're doing that is because we want to stretch, give a little bit of pressure to our muscles and then let them relax and release so that we're just kind of like we're giving them a little bit more pressure. And sometimes that helps your muscles release just a little bit more. All right, perfect. So the next thing that we're going to do is called the starfish. So you're gonna spread out your legs, spread out your arms, and you're going to stretch and release. And stretch and release. And stretch and release. So it's the same thing as the pencil, but we're going in different directions. Now from here, what you're going to do is bring your knees up. Perfect. Your knees are going to come up. Your back should be better aligned. And now the next thing that we're gonna do is we are gonna stretch out our neck and move to our shoulders and then move all the way through our spine all the way down to our toes. So the first thing that we're going to do is just, you're gonna take a deep breath in and you're going to 
On the exhale, allow your head to kind of flop down to the side and hopefully that's going to just release. You just want to tell your neck muscles, hey, it's okay. You're not going anywhere. Just kind of fall down just a little bit. So we're going to try that again. Deep breath in and release. And now deep breath in. And on this exhale, move back to center. Deep breath in. Move the other way. Deep breath in. Exhale. And that's going to be one full rotation. So for these neck rolls, what I want you to do is you're going to do an exhale and go the full range of motion that you have. And that's going to be one, one round. You're going to do three rounds of that. All right. Perfect. The next thing that we're going to move down to is your shoulder lift. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring our arms up above our head. We're going to take a deep breath in. And as we breathe in, we're just going to lift our shoulder blades off the ground so that it's almost like you're going to touch the ceiling, but the rest of your body is staying flat. And what we're doing is we're trying to open up our shoulder blades, especially that pocket right behind them where a lot of us keep our tension. And we're just going to open that up just a little bit and then release. We need to do that two more times. Deep breath in and release. Deep breath in and release. Wonderful. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to just do a spine peel. So this is going to get our entire spine moving. Now I got to get this microphone just real quick because it fell off just a moment ago. I'm going to hold it in my hand. But what we're going to do now is you're going to take a deep breath in. And what we're going to do is we're going to lift our hips up in the air on the exhale. Now, what you want to do is be able to control your breath and you want this to take as long as possible. So a deep breath in and exhale. And see if you can time it so that you run out of breath as you reach your apex of the movement. We're going to take a deep breath in and move on the exhale. We're going to do that two more times. Deep breath in and exhale. Deep breath in and exhale coming down. Deep breath in, final time. Exhale going up. And deep breath in, exhale coming down. Wonderful. Now, there's the next exercise is we're going to massage your sacrum. That's a small, uh, a small bone that's right where your tailbone and your back are kind of meeting, right? There's this the small part of your back right above your butt. If you if you kind of like twist your hips forward, that part will touch the ground. And in that moment, what you want to do is kind of find it there and then just rock front to back. So I'm just moving my hips this way, right? And what I'm trying to do is just give it a massage because that part of your body takes a lot of stress, right? All of the gravity that's pushing down, but then your legs are kind of pushing everything up. So all this tension is meeting right at that spot. And what we want to do is just give that a little bit of love and just relax a little bit. So we're going to do that for three breaths, moving front to back. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take three breaths and you're going to rock your knees side to side and give it a massage in another direction. So three deep breaths. And now we're going to go in a circle, right? So deep breath in. And all I'm doing is rotating my hips in a circle. Again, focusing on massaging my sacrum, that part of my lower back. Deep breath in, do the other way. And again, you're going to do each of these things for three breaths. From this position, what we're going to do is we're going to take our left leg and we're going to bring it over our right and we're going to just hook it over so that it's relaxing. We want no tension in this leg. So we don't want it to come up here. We want it to come down here. But again, every body is different. So adjust based on your body. What you want to do is release your leg. And now let's, a lot of times we keep a lot of tension in our ankles and we don't think about how much tension goes into our ankles 
but we're gonna think about that right now. So what I want you to do is we're gonna take a deep breath in and you are going to rotate on the exhale and rotate your ankle in a circular motion. Do that for three breaths. And again, this should be relaxing. This is the relaxation part of your warm up. And then we're moving the other way. Perfect. Wonderful. Now we're gonna switch. We're gonna do the opposite leg. And again, we're always connecting everything to breathing, right? We're connecting our movements, our actions, our mental intentions, everything with our breath. And hopefully you're becoming more in tune with your body. Deep breath in, other direction. Perfect. Now from here, what we're gonna do is we are going to just roll on our sides and we wanna have as little tension as possible and then we're going to move up into being on all fours. And from here, what we are going to do is go into cat-cow. So what that is, is you're going to take a deep breath in and as you breathe in, you're going to arch your back up so that what you're gonna resemble is a cat when they're stretching and they're waking up. So you're gonna take a deep breath in, and then from here, you're going to exhale coming down, and you're gonna bow your back very similar to the way that a cow's back bows. And we're gonna do that for three breaths. Perfect. Then you're gonna roll back on your heels, and you're going to stand and roll up. The next stretch that we're going to do is all about expanding and developing your intercostal muscles. Now, that, those are the muscles that are right in between your rib cage, right? Like your rib bones. They're the muscles right in between there. Now, the first one that we're going to do is just a side stretch. So what I want you to do is stand about as, as straight as you can and reach up and over your body and you're going to place your hand on your ribs, on your floating ribs that are a little bit lower. You're gonna take three deep breaths and I want you to focus on pulling the air in and expanding those ribs. So try to see if you can get your ribs to move out. Now, not everybody has a lot of practice doing this because in our culture, we like to have really strong, tight abs and so we don't do a lot of stomach breathing. But in order for you to have, to maximize your oxygen, your airflow, especially as a performer, you're really gonna to need to do that. So we're gonna reach up and over, place your hand on your floating ribs and then take three deep breaths. And always work on controlling your exhale. You always wanna, whatever air you take in, you can take it in quickly, but always work on controlling the exhale because that's gonna give, that's gonna be your text, that's gonna be everything that you do as a performer as you're creating sound. So let's take another breath. Perfect. Now take one right in the middle. Perfect. Now switch sides. We're going to go over and Now I find that if you are able to angle and kind of look to where your hand is reaching, you're gonna be able to take in just a little bit more air and you're gonna be able to focus just a little bit better. So that's your side stretch. Our next exercise, again, is also designed to expand our rib cage, expand the use of our intercostal muscles, and this is called the bear hug. Now, in order to do this, what you're gonna to have to do is place your hands on your shoulders and then you're going to collapse your spine. Now I'm gonna to move to the side so you can see, but what I'm going to do is collapse my spine, bend down, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna focus on my rib cage and hopefully it will expand. Now what I'm doing is I'm cutting off all of the space that would normally happen in my chest, right? And I'm stopping any of that expansion so that down low, my floating ribs can expand more and hopefully I'm causing the lower part of my lungs to fill up. All right, so what you're going to do is bend down, 
and then take three deep breaths. Make sure that your neck is fully relaxed. A lot of the time what happens is people get this like, eh, they have a lot of tension in their neck. And if you have tension in your neck, well, this exercise isn't gonna work out because what we wanna do is really like take away as much tension in the body as possible. So you're going to bend down and take three deep breaths. Okay, so the next exercise is going to be called Kabuki. Now what you're going to do is you're going to spread out your base, right? You're gonna spread out your legs and then you're gonna squat down. Now as you squat down, there's going to be a certain spot that when you squat down, your stomach is going to relax and release and that's where we wanna get in our squat. Now for everyone, it's gonna be different because every human body is different, but what you're going to do is squat down. Sorry, I have an injured leg. So. You're going to squat down here, then you're gonna grab your stomach, take a deep breath in, and then you're gonna shake your stomach muscles. Again. And the idea of this exercise is really just to loosen up our stomach muscles, especially as Americans, we walk around sucking in our stomach all the time. And so what we wanna do is just release our stomach so that our lungs can take in more air. Because if there's not enough space, your lungs won't take in that air. So that's what this is really designed to do. So you're gonna take a deep breath in, grab your stomach and just shake, shake, shake as you exhale, give it a little bit of a voice, but it doesn't need much. So our next movement is called frog. What you're going to do is squat down like a frog, place your hands down on the ground, and you're going to lean forward just a little bit. And what we're trying to do is collapse at the space that our diaphragm would, and stomach would usually use. And hopefully our, our intercostal muscles or our rib cage is gonna expand a little bit more because it has to work just a little bit harder for you to get those deep breaths. So what we're gonna do is we're going to squat down, relax your neck, don't remember don't put tension in your neck relax your neck take three deep breaths and again focus on your rib cage and intercostal muscles expanding and if you sleep on your stomach these these breath exercises might you might they might be a little bit easier for you because your body is kind of used to this movement already now from this position you're going to walk out and then we are going to go into dog. Dog, for dog, all you need to do is just get your arms underneath your shoulders and relax your stomach. And we're just gonna take three deep breaths with you telling your stomach muscles to relax. Don't try to pull in, just relax, let your belly hang. And again, we're trying to make sure that all of our muscles aren't we're taking we're getting rid of all of our unnecessary tension that's really our focus in this in this breathing exercise so take three deep breaths and you're focusing on telling your stomach muscles release just tell them to release perfect now from this position what you're going to do is sit back on your heels Keep your arms out, and you're going to lay and rest your head on the floor. This is called pose of a child. It can also be folded leaf. But again, what we are doing is we're stretching out our body. We're compressing our stomach so that now our intercostal muscles have to work harder. And so you're going to move down and take three deep breaths. From here, you're going to roll up and then we'll start breathing, bringing energy into energy and movement into our warm-up, so that we're gonna connect breath with energy and kind of invigorate our body, invigorate our muscles and invigorate our mind. Our next exercise is the windmill. So now that we've opened up our lungs, now we wanna start connecting breath with energy and intention. And that's what this exercise is really designed to do. So what I want you to do is you're gonna go from the ground and you're gonna roll yourself up. So roll yourself up, perfect. Then you're going to look ahead 
And what you're going to do is you're going to swing your arm. But as you swing your arm, you're going to take a deep breath in and then exhale as it comes down, right? So, and then you're gonna do that three times. Perfect, and now you're going to do it the opposite way. And with the other arm. And again. Perfect. Now, what we're going to do is the ski pole. In this, what you're going to do is bring your arms up and over your head, and then you're going to come down. And as you're coming down, you are going to have your arms move behind you and as they move behind you. Now, as soon as your arms hit where your legs are and they start to pass behind, then you're going to lift your butt up just a little, extend your legs, and then it's going to reach the end of the pendulum. It's going to come back down and then you are going to move all the way back up. And then that's one. Now you're gonna do this as you breathe up and the rest of it is all on an exhale, except for you take your second breath in right at this moment, right? So you're gonna go in slow motion, it would be breath in, exhale down, 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 inhale, exhale, coming back up. And you would do that three times, so it would look something like this. And again, what we're trying to do is use breath to energize our body and get our body ready to start doing things with text and connecting it with action. Let's move on to our next exercise. Our final exercise for the day is going to be taking a deep breath in and then connecting that breath to voice. So I want you to put your hand on your diaphragm and then you are going to take a deep breath in and then just do a gentle hum. and see if you can get your lips to vibrate. Hum. Go ahead and chew on the sound a little bit. Chew on the sound and then start walking around the room. See if you can keep an even pitch the entire time. Hum. And even experiment with laying on the ground, standing back up and just keep your mouth relaxed and connecting those. Breathe when you need to breathe. When you're finally done, um, go ahead and just drop your jaw and let it out um, into an ah, an open ah sound. So, um, ah. that's it. Great. Go ahead and shake it out. Great job today. Now we're going to get to your assignment. What I want you to do is hopefully you did some of the exercises with me, but it's a video so you can go back and you can do any of the exercises again. But I want you to do the exercises for yourself and then what I want you to do is write about them. Tell me about how they made you feel. Did they work? Did they not work? Why? All right. Then I want you to go and move on to the other videos and the other exercises, and I want you to try those out. And at the very end, I want you to talk about what each video helped you with and what, what didn't work for you in each video. And then hopefully you can start to come together and pull breathing exercises that really do work for you. But even if they don't, you have a big library of different exercises now that you can use to help expand your voice. All right, everyone. I'll see you soon. I look forward to hearing your responses. See you soon.